the cross before me and the world behind me. Ooh, good Lord have mercy. <laughs> if that ain't get you riled up already, I don't know what will. Uh, welcome to the Clear Vision Podcast. I'm your boy, Samuel McMillan, here. Um, thank you so much for tuning in uh, as we are diving into a brand new series, uh, a four-week series we are calling The Secret Place. Um, and we're going to uh, start this podcast with a question, with this, this series with a question, uh, where, where is your secret place? Um, this, this topic, I feel like God has just burdened me with this topic. Um, this, this, this topic is very sincere to me. Um, I feel a, uh, <clears throat> a, a deep passion and reverence for this topic um, as I have come across it. Uh, in my own life, I've seen it in my own life. I have witnessed this in my own life, how I don't revere, I don't respect, I don't treat holy the secret place. And I think God is calling his people back to a place where we are, where we are being holy because he is holy. And I think a part of us living holy is uh, not neglecting the secret place. Good Lord have mercy. Uh, that 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 the 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 secret places where you go get answers. The, the the secret places where you go get your questions answered. You you don't you don't treat it like, like you don't treat God like he's a genie there. You ask him, God, what do you want of me? What are you requiring me to do? And in him giving you that answer, he answers all your questions. He reveals secrets to you. He grants you peace. He grants you freedom. Uh, he grants you things that you would never have gotten outside of the secret place. I believe the secret place is holy. And we are to be holy for he is holy and a part of, of, of stewarding or being um, uh, uh, holy as he is, is not neglecting the secret place. I, I, I have now uh, garnered and consumed a deep passion, uh, a deep reverence, a, a different type of um, swagger and confidence about the secret place. And so I want to I want to go into this again with the question where is your secret place? God have mercy. Okay, let's pray. Let's pray. Woo! This is going, this is going to be an episode, man. Uh, God, thank you uh, for revealing in us how much uh, uh, we, we need to depend on you. Uh, Lord, help us to, uh, to remember that we are in desperate need of a Lord and a Savior. We can't do this without you. <laughs> We cannot take another step. We can't go another minute without you. And Father, we pray that as we dive into this series about the secret place, that you would just reveal into you would reveal to us uh, how deep uh, your desire is for us to spend time there, Father. Um, that 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 we need to we need to keep you first in our life. We need to honor you, and 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 we we need to go into your course with thanksgiving. And a part of that is realizing we need the secret place. And so, Lord, help us to garner a deep reverence for the secret place. It's in your holy name. Somebody ought to say amen. Tell your neighbor to your left and to your right. If you're watching this with people or if you're by yourself, just go ahead and tell yourself this is for me. Yeah, yeah. And Or if you're sitting next to somebody, this is for you. Go ahead and tell them we're, we're shutting down every lie of the enemy that says you can't hear from Jesus. This, in fact, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this in fact is for you. We're in Matthew chapter 6. I don't know how long this podcast is going to be. I just pray that the Holy Spirit moves as he is going to. Um, and, and he's going to reveal to us secrets about the secret place. First of all, my first point before we even go into scripture as you're getting your scripture ready um, is that the secret place is something only you can build. <laughs> nobody else can build this for you. Uh, nobody else can set this up for you. Uh, we can tell you about the secret place, but it's up to you to build your secret place. Every day as you go into the secret place, as you go into your prayer closet, you are, you are throwing wood into a fire to be lit more as you continue to dive in to the secret place. <laughs> The, the, the secret place is where you go to seek Jesus. You shut yourself off from the world and you go find Jesus 
in the secret place. You don't go to the world to find Jesus. You go to the secret place to find Jesus. Okay, all right, okay, 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 okay. So the secret place is something only you can build. You are the author of your secret place. <laughs> so it, that means we are to take ownership of the secret place we're supposed to be building. <laughs> Okay. 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 All right. Let's, let's, let's dive into this here. Okay. Jesus is teaching here in Matthew. I don't want to get too deep into this because I really want to get to the point here. He he's teaching, um, uh, people, um, about prayer. And, and I believe that this is, this is something for us in the, in the what especially in western christianity this is something we need uh, already because a, a lot of us don't even pray and if we do it's a flyby prayer <laughs> it's something, okay god will just j- just help me with this god help me with this god god deal with that god do this god it's always god do not god what do you want <laughs> It's always God do, not God, what do you want? What are you requiring? What are you asking of me? It's always God, can you do, will you do, why Why haven't you done this, that, or the third? Good God, have mercy. So we're getting here to Matthew chapter 6, starting in verse 5. Um, and Jesus is speaking here, and he says in verse 5, and when you pray, stop. Okay, we're going line by line, verse by verse here. Stop right there. What this is screaming to me is Jesus is already assuming you or not. I don't want to use the word assuming. He, He already has the foreknowledge that you have a prayer life. Notice how he doesn't say, and if you pray (laughs) or I hope you pray. No, no, no. And when you pray. (laughs) Okay. so point number two, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus is is has the foreknowledge that you already have a prayer life. So if you don't have a prayer life, th- those four words are already challenging you to get a prayer life. <laughs> because your Lord and Savior is saying when you pray. It's not a question. He's not assuming. He 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 is saying and when. It's almost like a commandment and when you pray. And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites. Who are the hypocrites? He's talking to the religious leaders of the day. Why is he talking to them? He keeps explaining it. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. These are what the elders, the uh, the Sadducees and Pharisees of the day were doing. Um, and so Jesus is pointing that out to the people he's talking to. He's saying, don't be like them. Do not pray in pride. God have mercy. <laughs> Do not pray out of ego. So even, even when you get asked to pray in public, pray that you pray that you're acknowledging Jesus, not the crowd. Pray as if you're praying to God. In the synagogues on the street, in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. Their reward is pride. And we all know pride comes before destruction. But here we go in verse six. And this is where I want to build my tent right here. Good Lord, move in this place. But when you pray, but when you pray, go into your room. Good God, have mercy. I feel the spirit of the living God. Close the door and pray to your father. Stop right here. Okay. I want to, I want to break those three, uh, uh, phrases down. Okay. The, these phrases to me have deep significance in this part of scripture. Okay. He says, but when you pray, go into your room, going into your room means intentionality with Jesus. So if you're taking notes, which you should be, the first the first phrase, go into your room, equals intentionality. You are intentionally going into your room to be with Jesus. You're going into your secret place <laughs> to spend time with Jesus. Go into your room, intentionality. Be intentional about your secret place. Be intentional about building your secret place. Good Lord, have mercy. Go into your room. The second phrase, close the door, means you are cutting yourself off from the world. 
<laughs> you 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 can't carry pride into a holy place. <laughs> because the second you do, pride and humbleness don't mix. <laughs> And we know our God is a humble yet holy God. So you can't bring pride into a place that is holy. So when you close the door, you're closing yourself off to pride. It's no longer about me. It's all about him in the secret place. And so when we go in there, go into your room, intentionality, closing the door equals closing yourself off to pride or shutting yourself off from the world, however you want to phrase that. And the last phrase, pray to your father, means you are seeking deep intimacy with God. Prayer, to me, is, is spending intimate time with Jesus. Again, a lot of what we do in today's Western Christian is we, we just throw up prayers, fly by. And, and, and that's okay every now and then, but Jesus wants you to have deep intimacy with him, deep relationship with him, a place where you can go, i.e. your secret place, and spend time with him and get to know his heart, not just for you, but for the people he wants you to minister to. So he's saying go into your room equals intentionality. Close the door equals cutting yourself off from pride, and pray to your father means you're seeking deep intimacy with him. This is what the secret place is. Who is unseen. Then your father who sees what is done in secret. Catch this. God, does, God, God just doesn't care about what's done in public. He cares what you do in secret. Because who you are in secret will eventually spill out in public. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Who you are in secret will eventually spill out in public. That's why God cares so much about the secret place. Because he wants to develop you. He wants to change your character. He wants to impact you in a deep way to where you can go minister to the nations, to people that need you or that need to see Jesus in you the most. <laughs> And so he wants to change you, not just behavior modification. He wants to change your heart for him. And the changing of your heart is done in the secret place. Which we neglect for notoriety. We neglect for fame. We neglect for fortune. We neglect the, we neglect the secret place for things that don't matter. And what really matters is the secret place because that's where we get the answers we need. That's where we get to hear the Father's heart for whatever he wants to speak to us in secret. <laughs> we have all these prophets proclaiming out loud, but I bet you half of them aren't in the secret place. <laughs> We have all these people screaming from the mountaintops, but I guarantee you 80% of them are not in the secret place. Everybody wants to be loud, but nobody wants to be quiet in the secret place. We give God a prayer list instead of hearing God's heart. <laughs> then your father, I'm almost done. Then your father, could God have mercy who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Here's what I think the reward means right here. It means peace for your life. Last point, the secret place gives peace to you. There you find deep intimacy and you find peace in the secret place. I think the, 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 the people that I've been around or the people that I see that, I, that you can tell they have a deep prayer life, regardless of what's going on around them, they're at peace. Regardless of what's going on around them, they realize they serve a holy God. And since they serve a holy God, they too must live holy. And a part of that is having peace in their life. And I think that's what comes out of the secret place is peace in your life. You're not, you're not frantic. You're, you're, you're not frolicking around figuring out what's going on. You are rock steady. You are poised. You have peace. You have peace. As a matter of fact, hold on. Good God, have mercy. 
Philippians 4 verse 6, do not be anxious about anything, but in every, but in every, but in every, but in every, sweet Jesus, situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Verse 7, and the peace of God which transcends all the understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. He's saying, do not be anxious. Do not be fearful. Do not be scatterbrained about anything. But in every situation, peace, poise, rock steadiness. But in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends, your, which, which transcends, which goes beyond, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus, you find that in the secret place. You find that in your prayer closet. You find that, you find that unshakable faith in your, in, in your secret place. It's there. The thing is, it's got to be done in secret. I think, okay, this is, th this may be a flawed picture. I don't know. But I'm just going to say it. I feel like God has things that he wants to give us, right? I believe this. He has things he wants to give us, things that he wants to share, knowledge, understanding, wisdom. But we're looking for it in external things, external places that aren't holy. And he's like, if you seek me in the secret place, I'll give you what you're seeking, but he's like, dude, you, dude, son, daughter, you don't have a prayer life. <laughs> How can I reveal my secrets to you if you're not in the secret place? If you're not in prayer with me, if you're not in constant communication with me, how can I reveal things to you? God have mercy. He's saying, son, daughter, when are you going to get a secret place? It's up to you. You got to steward it. You have to take ownership of it. It's not, it's not just going to pop up out of thin air. The secret place has to be built by you. Because as you, okay, 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 as you begin to build your secret place, you have a deep reverence for it. In other words, you'll want to go there more than external things. You'll want to go there more than your favorite prophet. You'll want to go there more than anything else. You will place value of the secret place over everything else. Because the secret place is where you find Jesus. I think people today have lost that. <clears throat> We've lost it. We have lost the idea of a secret place. And God's waiting. He's like, son or daughter, when you develop a secret place, your life won't be hectic anymore because now I'm giving you wisdom. <laughs> I'm giving you knowledge. I'm giving you understanding. Go into your room, intentionality. Close the door. You're, you're cutting yourself off from pride or the world. And you're praying to your father in heaven it means you're seeking deep intimacy with Jesus, where is your secret place? Where is your secret place? Let me pray us out. Jesus, we, we love you. <laughs> we are in desperate need of you each and every day. Father, help us to develop to take ownership of and to steward a secret place with you. Father, we don't uh, help us not to brag about it for it is done in secret. <laughs> help us to develop a secret place where we can spend time with you and where we can hear what you have to say instead of spitting a prayer list at you. Help us to trust you, to lean on you for everything that we need. Help us answer the question, where is our secret place? It's in the holy name of Jesus we pray. Somebody, if you're not hurt, you ought to say amen. <laughs> 
Thank you for tuning in to episode one of a brand new series we're calling Where Is Your Secret Place or The Secret Place. Um, however, we're going to phrase it. <laughs> Either way, however we're going to phrase it, we're going to phrase it that way. Uh, I love you. God loves you. And uh, we will see you next week for episode two of the series, week two of Where Is Your Secret Place. Thank you.